The purpose of this video is to show you how to prepare a horse management action plan for your property. Once you've created an account, you uh, log in. Okay, here across the top menu bar, we are presented with the calendar and news uh, links, which are, appear on the main page of the website anyway. We are provided with um, access to the action plan. This is one that's been prepared for this user here already, or by this user. Uh, they can also have access to a, um, a user scorecard, which shows progress across the, um, the actions they need to undertake or want to undertake. And then a community scorecard, which shows overall progress being made by the community of practice in preparing and implementing their action plans. Okay, this is the, uh, the list of actions down here. We'll get back to them in a minute. Uh, as, a, as a user, you have um, uh, your own account details, which may include information about where your property is located. Uh, you can also upload and refer to uh, references. In this case here, a uh, property map. Uh, okay, so there's an pro existing property map, which we may, may refer to when we're preparing our um, action plan. Okay, let's go and look at uh, the action planning form. Okay, the action planning form here um, provides you with, uh, you, you can input the status in relation to a question here, uh, the action details that you're going to, to undertake, um, who's going to undertake it, the target date and the priority. You can add the action to your plan. And you can also be sent a reminder by email when the date is, is due for implementation of the action. And then save that and add it to your plan. In preparing your um, action plan, you for each action you might have uh, access to information resources. So here for example we've got a link to a Horses, Land and Water Community Practice site which provides detailed information in relation to uh, getting development and related approvals. Okay, so we've prepared it, uh, an action for our action plan. Okay, this, the, this one here. Now, you can add actions which don't appear on this list down here uh, through selecting this, this option here. And here we've added a, uh, a custom action to our action plan. Now, we may want to um, monitor implementation of our action. We do that here, we click on uh, monitor and here we've um, uploaded a, um, or the users uploaded a, uh, a photograph showing the current um, condition of uh, the area adjacent to a watercourse and they can upload before, during and after photos to show how effective their um, the implementation of the actions been. They may also refer to spreadsheets or other tables um, providing evidence uh, that the, the action's been undertaken and you can geo-reference that uh, particular action using the tool below. And uh, as we mentioned before this is the user scorecard which shows progress in implementing or preparing and implementing the, the actions uh, by the user. And we click up here and we'll be taken back to the, uh, the front page and here you'll find um, information about who to contact to help you uh, with uh, implementing your, your actions. You'll also be sent regular information to help you um, prepare and implement your action plans.